KSLA News 12 presents your hometown show featuring businesses and services in your community. Good morning and welcome to your hometown show. I'm your host, Sarah Durham. Many Shreveporters remember Local Academy Award winning short filmmaker, artist and author William Joyce and his extravagant Halloween parties that Martha Stewart helped make world famous. The giant spider on the lawn, hundreds of carved jack-o'-lanterns, and skulls and skeletons galore. Well, I am here at Art Space today with none other than Bill Joyce to talk about where we can catch a glimpse of that enormous arachnid and other spooky Joycean creations. Well, we're going to have the first and only uh, zombie glitter, or is it glitter zombie, excuse me, glitter, glitter zombie, zombie apocalypse, apocalypse ball. ball, yes, here <laughs> at Art Space on October the 13th, Friday the 13th. I know, so perfect. So it's sort of bringing the party back. I haven't done it in, gosh, over 10 years. Right. The last time we had it, I think we had 2,000 people show wow. up. And and it was like, that's great, but I'm, I'm making a movie right now. Right, I'm kind of working. a little bit busy, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, but when Pam said, well, why don't we have it here? I went, well, that's awesome. Then y'all you know, can do all the, right. the hard work. And Art Space holds a special place in your heart. Absolutely. You're the creative yeah. director here. Yes. So what better way to breathe new life into some of these? Uh, or new Unlife? Undead. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So October the 13th, like you said, it's a Friday, yeah. will be the first and only 2017 Glitter Zombie Apocalypse Ball. And we want to encourage everyone to come in costume Absolutely. because only the... Only the undead will be in, right. uh, uh, not in costume, but then they'll be the undead, so they'll be kind of in costume. Yeah. But I yeah. think if you want to like you know hold your own, you should probably glitter up and zombie up or whatever it is you want to be. Because right. that's a fun thing about Halloween is that you should be that other thing that you always sort of sure. yearn to be. There you go. So all of art space downstairs here uh, on Texas Street will be covered in all of your Halloween creations from years past. I've had and to keep them stored for years uh -huh. and so they're finally getting they're getting to come out of the crypt. There again. you go. And so it's kind of <laughs> fun, you know, to So it'll be a very special night, but you're going to all of this trouble to put all of these things up for one night. Yeah. Well, kind of. I mean it's gonna be <laughs> Uh, we'll have the ball uh -huh. and, and the apocalypse glitter zombie ball, and and then the the space will be uh, um, uh, available for parties and things like that for the whole month of October. Right. So whether it's your own Halloween soiree, mm -hmm. a homecoming dance, yeah. a fall festival, sure. you can contact yes. Art Space and reserve this area mm -hmm. to have your very own spooky celebration. And hang out with the fellas. And hang out with all of your friends. Absolutely. <laughs> exactly. So again, that is October the 13th, mm -hmm. Friday, starting at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Cash bar, $10 admission, which is very, very minimal to come in and have such a wonderful time with well, uh, other I hope so. <laughs> dead or undead. I think so, absolutely. Well, I mean, part of the fun, you know, there'll be a DJ there and he'll be doing some awesome And scary Oki, I hear. Scary Oki, mm -hmm. which, you know, I all think we all want to sing along with the Monster Mash. I think that's, we'll have a group thing with that. But, you know, I've been collecting this stuff for 35 years and it's the, the collection's gotten too big for me to ever house in one place so it's nice to be able to bring it all out and let everybody see it again absolutely for the first time in a long time too great too large not to be enjoyed by sure. everyone else there you go. well thank you again for being with us today it's always thank a pleasure you. to chat with you bill and again we want to invite everyone to come out now on that same night upstairs in cool space there will be another exhibition that is opening that is of grave importance and we're going to talk to an artist in just a moment to find out all about it more than 60 northwest louisiana artists recently toured the 100 year old forest park cemetery and were so inspired by the places and the scenery that they were compelled to put together an over 50 piece uh, exhibition involving visual literary and performing arts uh, the title of the exhibition is Engraved, and it is sponsored by CEO and Chairman of Forest Park Cemetery and Funeral Home, Mr. Robert C. Lomason. Joining us today is one of those artists, Marilyn Couch, to tell us about her experience and her resulting art from the tour. So you created a beautiful piece of art that will be on display starting October the 13th upstairs in Cool Space. I feel like I was the conduit for this painting uh, instead of the artist. Um, I'm telling her story, uh, and she's kind of a mystery to me. Um, I went to the cemetery and took the tour, and then I came home and started this, started the painting. Uh, this is the girl, 
and she's beginning her journey to what's called the other side, which is the title of the painting. So here's her life, and then, then her spirit goes into the other side. There's a thin line between life and death, and that's denoted in the center of the painting. The mailbox with the flag up represents communication because that's where people go to talk with their loved ones. And uh, the 1919 is when they said they started burying people at the cemetery. Here she is at her gravestone. Here's her, her spirit. And the, on the gravestone it says the other side. This is the doorway that she goes through to ascend and she goes up into peace. Wonderful. And this exhibition is not only featuring art just to look at, it is also a competition for recognition and some pretty hefty cash prizes, right? Absolutely. The, uh, the entire package is $4,000. And then there are, uh, there's going to be a really exciting one that is the People's Choice Award. So again, it's October the 13th, starting at 6 o'clock, $10 admission for the ball, and then head upstairs to take a look at all of the art, uh, the visual, literary, and performing pieces, and make your vote. You can do that through November the 4th for that People's Choice Award that Marilyn spoke about. If you need more information, go to artspacesharifport.com. That's going to do it for your hometown show. Have a great day.